but you're a real good singer. Is that a hint? Take it any way you like. This old house creaks so much. I keep thinking one of them might be Nathaniel sneaking back in. Joe and I shared a room, kind of like this when we were kids. Played with each other's toys, had chicken pox at the same time. We even ran away together once. Got all the way to the river before we changed our minds. So close back then. Now we're so far apart. How did it end up like this? I tell you, I'm tired of blaming the war for what happened to Joe. He's got to start taking responsibility for that accident. For the way he's hurt Mama. For his own life. For Nathaniel? Especially for Nathaniel. Well, it isn't flat anyway. It will be. Why do these things happen to me? We can fix it. It's been fixed too many times. We're going to need a new one. Well, how are we going to manage that? Well, we'll think of something. Come on. See, he tells him to get in the vault, but instead he dives under the desk and pushes the desk over at him. And then, pow, the gun goes off, and he shoots a hat off a statue of John Wayne. Man, it was a great movie. Maybe we can get it on video sometime. Dad? Huh? Can we? Yeah, sure. Hey, Nathaniel, uh, you remember that game we used to play? When you'd uh, talk to somebody, make friends with them, and... And you'd borrow something we needed when they weren't looking? Yeah, right. Um, why don't you go on over and talk to that guy over there? And while you're doing that, I'll uh, borrow us a tire, and then if I got some money, I'll borrow it back to him. Is that really borrowing, or is it kind of stealing? I'm not a thief, get it straight. You wouldn't believe how these guys rip you off. Half of those tires are probably hot anyway. Come on, if we don't pull this off, we're sunk. You gonna help me or what? Yeah, sure, of course. Cool, come on. Buddy, pour it on. Hi. Hi. Something I can do for you? No. Well, sort of. Have you ever seen the movie? Where the guy shoots the hat off the John Wayne statue? Kid, I'm busy. Well, actually, I'm here to talk to you about my dad. He's got a whole bunch of problems. And sometimes, I don't think he even knows the difference between right and wrong. I'm not a cop or a welfare worker, but if he's hitting you... No, nothing like that. It's just, he wants me to distract you. I used to do it all the time, but I can't. Because it's not right. So, I'm just going to ask you straight out. We need a tire, but we can't pay you for it for a while. Hey! 
Hey! Hey! Hey! Hey! It's all right. Hey, take it easy. Take it easy, huh? Take it easy. Get off of me! Come on, man! I'll call the police. Let go of me! Let go of me, man! Get off of me! Just a minute, Nathaniel. Sorry. What? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Nah, you just wanted to be with your dad. I can't fault you for that. It looks okay to me. Oh, better than okay. No. I'll go check on Joe. It's my fault he's here. I mean, I didn't listen to him when the cops came. Nathaniel, what you did was right. If you hadn't done it, you'd still be out there. And we wouldn't know where to find you. See, the important thing is we're all together again. Together? My dad's in jail. Hey. <laughs> Too bad I'm not in the air freshener business. I could make a lot of bucks in here. Anything you need? Anything I can get you? Get me out of here. Joe, they've got you in for vehicular manslaughter. I can't afford that bail. But you could afford the phone call to the police. I'll get you a lawyer. Thanks. Come by. See you sometime tomorrow. <laughs> don't worry about it. I know you got a lot of things to do. Joe, I don't like seeing you in here. Believe that. Russell, in here is exactly where you think I ought to be. Sometime in the afternoon. Russell, you've got to do it. Mama, I can't do it. That old Airstream is our home. And don't give me the evil eye. I'm not going to put my family at risk. He's your brother. Joe's not a kid anymore, Mama. And he's run off before, more than once. I'm sorry, I just can't take that chance. Where's my dad? Well, he's gonna have to stay here for a little while, pal, so we're gonna, we're gonna go on home and wait there. No, I wanna wait here. Nathaniel? I'm not leaving. You said Uncle Russell would take care of everything. It's best we go now, all of us. Don't set a place for Grandma. She's eating in her room. I wonder how long she's going to be keeping this up. Till Daddy gets nice again? Yeah, there's probably a lot of stuff we don't know about. And what Uncle Joe did wasn't Daddy's fault. Uncle Joe didn't do anything on purpose. I guess that's something he's still going to have to prove. To who? The judge or Daddy? Look, why don't we just drop it, okay? I mean, I'm just sick of the whole thing. We'd be a lot better off if we had never come here. When we're older, what's it going to be like for us? It depends. On what? If you ever outgrow your really irritating habits. No, Josh, I'm serious. It scares me to think if I did something you didn't like, you'd turn your back on me. Uh, this is getting way too deep for me. Will you be there for me? No matter what? I never let anything bad happen to you. Don't <laughs> well, you go getting all weepy on me now. <laughs> the ribs are mighty tasty, Josh. Oh, I used uh, Rasmus's secret sauce. Sweet mustard, pepper relish, molasses, what else? 
Secret sauce, Daddy. Erasmus made me swear an oath. Hmm. Change your mind about dinner? No, just thirsty. Well, we got plenty if you do change your mind. Oh, thank you. Anybody hear anything from Erasmus? No. He tore out of here around three, said he had errands. I like Erasmus to miss a meal. I ain't kind of good enough napkin. <laughs> what? You don't need a napkin. You need a bath. Well, we hope you left enough scraps for us. You're home! <laughs> yes, I am, and I'm glad to be here. Joe. Thank you. I prayed for this. Hey, brother. Well, you hungry? Of course you are. I'll fix you some plates. Don't tell me about your pull with the police, Erasmus. Color green's the only thing that works for bail. Yep, and my green is as good as the next man's. You had that much cash? We're sitting on it. Erasmus. <sighs> Thank you, Claire. Thanks, honey. I trust him. Well, I guess that proves you're a better man than I am. I wouldn't take that chance. Russell, I didn't do this to show you up, but I didn't go into it lightly. I did what I always do whenever there's a problem and no answer. I went into my room, closed the door, turned off the light, and asked the Almighty for guidance. You asked God whether you ought to bail Joe out? Yes, I did. Well, then you heard wrong, Erasmus. God may have said you love him, but you must have heard wrong when it came to bailing him out. You don't know what God said to Erasmus. And neither do I. I know that. I'm sorry. No need to be sorry. Russell, you've got a whole lifetime of emotions tied up in your brother. Some of it's good, some of it's bad. Well, son, time is running out for him. He needs to be trusted. And he needs to be trusted by you more than anyone. Thanks. Anybody seen Joe's lawyers here? Upstairs in his room. No, Mama, he is not in his room. He's not in the bathroom, he's not in the yard, and he's not in the trailer. Russell, I know what you're thinking. He wouldn't do that. Well, I'm not waiting around to find out. Don't you love it? <laughs> the breeze is just right. The smell of gardenias. Nothing like it. We can't find Joe. Is Nathaniel here? He's upstairs with Dinah. Then Joe's here. Russell, smell the gardenias. <laughs> Gonna be a wonderful day. <laughs> I'll be back. Morning, everybody. Joe! After what Erasmus did, I figured the least I could do would be to buy milk for the cornflakes. Going someplace? Uh, no. Your lawyer's in front of him. He's waiting for us. Just be straight with me. What's a DA gonna do? Throw the book at me? He wanted to. Wanted to? Does that mean he's had a change of heart? Well, the tow truck company was supposed to take the car to a secure impound lot, but apparently they made a mistake. Instead, they took it to a repair shop, and some paint jockey started to prep it for repairs. What are you telling us? The only hard evidence that the DA had was the paint chips from Randy Mills' car on Joe's fender. Now, the only evidence he's got is two coats of fresh paint. But Joe confessed. I know, but only to you. And that's called hearsay. Believe me, the judge would throw it out. So, I think we're looking at a dismissal. Well, don't everybody cheer at once. But we all know. I know that you know the truth. But Mrs. Green... My job is to advocate for my client, and guilty or innocent, I sincerely believe that in this case, jail time is inappropriate. 
Your son needs treatment, not punishment. Nothing would make me happier than to see my son stay out of jail. I'm sorry if that offends anyone's ethical sensibilities, but that's the way I feel. Uh, what, what do I, what's the next step? When we go to court tomorrow and the judge asks you how you plead, you just say not guilty. I'll do the rest. At the end of the day, you should be a free man. Congratulations.